One day, I went to a cafe for lunch and ordered food and coffee. I sat down and opened a book. After a while, I felt thirsty, so I stood up and asked the waitress for some tap water. Instead, the waitress handed me a bottle of water. She smiled at me and said, "It's free." I look at her. I look at water. I go back to my table and I felt flattered. I once got free pork cutlet from a newly opened store. I asked for a flavor that they didn't have, and then the young girl gave me another one for free. And free sushi from a lady who came from the hometown. It must have been because of my handsome face. I noticed that I especially like to take selfies after I use the public bathroom. I wash my hands, my face, and then I look at the mirror, and the mirror looks back at me. The guy in the mirror is so handsome that I cannot help myself but to take out my phone and take a picture of him, of me. If taking a selfie wasn't satisfying enough, he usually texts his mom and then thanks her for giving a birth to such a handsome guy. Though, like many stereotypical Asian mom, her response is rather negative. Or maybe it's not my pretty face; it's the title of the book I was reading. She's a fellow hardcore feminist or something. Or better, it's a friendly gesture of recognizing another comrade. While I was self-indulging my imagination, the waitress disclosed her reason for the nice gesture. It wasn't my look that impressed her; it was how I didn't check my phone and instead opened a book. She told me that in her group, she's the weird one who always reads where her friends are playing with their phones. Anyways, I got a free bottle of water. Their educational advancement and their work on self at home enriched their life experience. Their status as earners weakened their former oppression within and outside of the family, and made them somewhat less subservient in some walk of life.